So today we're going to be handling some eggs. Our eggs have been in here now for a full week. So they should be far enough along where we can see if they're gonna be forming into chicks. Um, there should be some veins that we can see. And if depending on how far along the eggs are, we might be able to see a little round dot where the chick is actually going to be formed. Okay, so we're gonna put an F on the ones that are fertile, okay? So the ones that we can see stuff in, the ones we're gonna write on. Okay, can I put an F? So this is our candler right here. So we're gonna hit our button. The temperature is gonna drop and so is our humidity, but for a few minutes while we're checking them, it, it'll be okay. So we're gonna turn that on. Oh. Now I'm gonna lift this up then, and I want you to reach inside and carefully grab one egg and keep it the same direction that it's already laying. Okay. Okay. So grab one. Okay, and what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go like this. We're gonna turn this light off right here. That little dot, that's it. Are you gonna show the video? Okay, so this one, we're going to put an F on. So this one, the, the shell's a little thicker, so it's not gonna show up really good for everyone else to see, but we can see it on here. Okay, now, turn that off and you're gonna lay it back down. Just super careful in the spot that it was just in, okay? All right, now Coda, you can grab the next one. Now, can I press the button? Can I put the F? Okay, so see this? You can kind of see the air pocket right there, that little line that goes around it? Oh, yeah, wait, okay. no. Right, right here. Oh yeah. There's a line right there. That line is the big. little air gap that's inside eggs. So like, you know, when we hard boil them, we crack them open, there's a little flat spot in it. So that is the flat spot. That's an air pocket inside the egg. What that does is when the chicks are hatching, it kind of gives them a little bit of a buffer. To and mm -hmm, until they can break through the shell. So that is a really good sign to see. So we're gonna turn, I think our little dot is right there. Yep, that's a dot. Can I put but we wanna turn it around all the way. And you just wanna check the whole egg. But yep, I think that's our dot. Okay. I'll write, oh. I'll write on it. So we'll pull them out and you'll write. Yep, and then you put it back in. So now you're gonna lay your egg back, just like that. that. Yep, push that again. Cause it's just really bright to look at. Carefully lay it down. Okay, now bang, grab another one. Now this one has a, a wider shell. So since it's more white, we might be able to see a little bit. Oh, there it is. Here. Look, you can even see the veins on this one. Hold on, I'll get a close up on the camera so that everyone can see. I don't know if they'll be able to see. So right zoom there is, Mom, zoom right here's the dot. And then, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's little veins coming off of it. That's what you're looking for to make sure it's a fertile egg. It's this little dot right here and the veins coming off of it. Okay, so I'll turn it so you guys can see. You gotta turn them very carefully. So look, see there's our right dot and there's the veins. It moved. Well, it's cause I'm turning the egg. Yeah, but that's, that's moving. But yeah, but it is fertile. Yeah, I saw it move just a teeny bit. Well, that's cause I'm moving the egg. So the yolk in there, it's still fluid. But the Okay, now this one, 
goes back in face down. Okay, who's gonna who's gonna hold it? Okay, now very very careful, okay? Because we don't wanna we don't wanna disturb the eggs too much because it could ruin their connection to the shell. Okay, now Coda, grab one. And it doesn't Good job. There's the yolk, but I'm not, I'm not seeing any development in this one. We're gonna put it. We're gonna put a zero on the ones that we don't think are fertilized. Okay. But we're gonna keep them in the incubator. Just in case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Face down on that one. We still gotta be really careful with it. Okay. Try not to shake. Okay, let's grab another one. There it is, right there. What? Whoa, I set it down and the yolk was- Coda up. set it right in the right spot. It's right there. See the nice. dog? Nice. And the pretty good veins on it. Yeah, pretty good sized too. Uh, really. So this one is a perfect egg to look at. You can kind of see where right here is your line, your air pocket. And you really want to see that in your eggs. And then right here is the dot that will end up forming into a chick. It has the dark center and then just a little bit lighter circle around it. Right there's what you want to see when you're candling your eggs at about a week into incubation. And the incubator. So here's another really good one. So with our, our dark circle, the lighter outside, you got the veins, and then right up here at the top, I don't know if you can really see it on the video, but you can see the sort of circle, here we'll come to the top of the egg, that's a little bit better. You can see the circle air pocket coming around. So that's that's an ideal egg um, for seven days incubation period. So this is going to be the first and the last time that we take the eggs out of the incubator. Um, once they hit three days before their hatching date, they're going to go into what's called a lockdown, where you're going to increase the humidity, you're not going to touch it, and um, just let them do their thing. Chicks can go two days after hatching without food and water, so if it takes some of the eggs a little bit longer to hatch, then what their supposed hatch date is, that's okay. But you don't wanna open it during that lockdown period because what happens is that little air bubble um, that I showed you a little bit earlier will end up turning into shrink wrap for the chicks if that humidity level is disturbed and the chicks will end up getting suffocated to death and then you don't have any eggs to hatch. So we don't want that happening. So we're gonna watch this pretty closely from here on out. And so far, there's only one, possibly two eggs in there that we weren't sure about um, being fertilized. But overall, it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. We have 14, I think 15 eggs in here. So now we'll just have to wait and see once they hatch how many are hens and how many roosters we got.